what's up beautiful people listen to remember welcome to the channel today we have patrick bet david convinces joe rogan to interview trump you're helping biden win if you don't Ooh, i'm excited to check this one out let's check it out so when you're having trump on i don't know okay you, you're the look i don't know maybe. looks like you got something maybe okay good that's good i think that's uh, I, look, at a certain point in time it's just like it would be interesting to hear his perspective on a lot of things. I would like to know what is it like when you actually get into office. I would like to know things like what what is it like versus perception. Yeah. What is it actually like when you get in that building? Like what 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 are you greeted with? When do you know that people are fucking with you? When do you know that the intelligence agency is lying to you? Like when you decided to fire Comey, what was the thought? How much did you know? Like what what's the machine like? What is what is the deep state really like really like because we have all these you know smoky room perceptions like from the bill hicks joke where they show you the kennedy assassination from an angle you've never seen before you know what is the machine that runs this country because it's very clear that it's not as simple as elected representatives that are doing the will of the people it's not yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm, I'm really looking forward to seeing you and Trump together. Yeah, you keep pushing that. I, I think, okay, I'll tell you from my perspective, like, uh, on why you ought to consider it when you do do it. I'll just give you my, uh, okay. just so you know, he and I don't speak, you know, it's not something that is like, hey, his camp saying go in there and do this and do that. No, I've never interviewed the guy, so it's not like I'm, you know, uh, lobbying for it. But I think if... You know, when you think about sports or you think about fights, what is the boxing world if Frazier Ali never happens, right? Uh, what is the UFC world if DC John Jones doesn't happen or Khabib Connor doesn't happen and they're both at their peak and those fights don't happen? We can go on with sports, you know, with baseball, with, you know, uh, interviews of Oprah Winfrey, Michael Jackson. You know, you go look at... Mm -hmm. You know, uh, uh, some of these things that happened with Larry King or her and, uh, uh, you know, a bunch of different guys. He's a guy that's probably the most misunderstood by a side and a guy that. Uh, How do you think he's misunderstood in what way? I, I think <laughs> I think the media has really painted this guy to be evil. I had, you know, like I like to talk to people I fully disagree with. And I, I think they're delusional in certain areas to understand, like, what makes you believe what you just said? Right. Like, I don't understand what you just said. Right. Tell me how you could be that convinced you're right. 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 I, Cenk was on the podcast yesterday. And Cenk is convinced he's a better businessman than Trump. I mean, how could you say something? But he's convinced. And he says, no, he's a loser. Trump's a loser. I said, dude, what do you mean? He's a, there's only two things he's won in his life. I said, there's only two things he's won in his life? Yes. Yeah, there's only two things he's ever won in his life. And this is the second time Jenk and I have a, having a conversation together. Politically, we're on very different sides. I'm just trying to find out why do you think this way, right? And he says, yeah, only two things. He's a great marketer, and he did this. I said, first of all, 15 years, you know, apprentice. Good luck. Go do No, he had great producers. I don't care if you have the greatest producers in the world. You can hire... Any producers Joe has, and go try to match Joe's numbers with podcasts. Yeah, because it's his producers. No, it's, it's, it's a lot of work. 15 years. Book, how many years does Art of the Deal does? Do? Well, yeah, but Pat, imagine if you started with $430 million. You would have been richer than him today. I said, $430 million. What's this $430 million? He got $430 million. Are you, like, counting in today's money? Versus, well, you know, it's estimated this. Okay, he got a million. He got $14 million, No problem. He got family money. I'm willing to make the case that you are more likely to screw up your life if your family gives you money. He says, what do you mean? Yeah. I said, so I went and studied. I got four kids now. We're going, you know, we've done estate planning multiple times, but now I just sold the insurance company, so I have to sit there and see what am I going to be doing with some of this money that came out of nowhere? Goldman, Morgan, estate planning. Do we do this? Do we do that? Let's go study. We put our research team. Go find out who did it right out of all the families. Okay. The Medici family, seven generation, they kept the wealth within the family. What mm. are they doing? I'm boom, boom, mm. boom, boom, boom. Great. Vanderbilt family, the money lasted one generation, maybe two. Like when, you know, Anderson Cooper's mom's like, look, we're Vanderbilts, but you ain't getting nothing. You got to make your own money, right? Okay. You know, the Rockefeller family, they're at three or four, okay? We can go through all these families. Most of them that get a lot of money, the kid becomes a what? 
drug addict, drug dealer, yeah. spoiled. They don't work. They're right. not this. They're not that. Right. Okay. So let's just say he did get the money, and he still doesn't do drugs, and he doesn't do alcohol, mm -hmm. and his vice is women, and he works his ass off in business, and he makes it where he makes it to. Yeah, mm. it's it's very easy to make the argument that actually if you do come with money, it's a harder life than a person that doesn't get money yeah. to have that drive and ambition. Not necessarily it's a harder mm. life to have that right. fire, the ambition that, you know, yeah. right. you got you can't teach that. You either got yeah. it or you don't have it, right? Okay. Yes. So then we go into politics. So let me get this straight. This guy wins in New York, he becomes a billionaire, he wins on TV, he's won with women. He's partied with everybody. In 1988, he's doing an interview with Oprah Winfrey, and Oprah Winfrey says, hey, you sound like you're going to run for office. No, I have no interest, but if I ever did, I'd win, okay? Then he runs. Everybody thinks it's just a marketing deal that he's doing. And then when he wins, I don't know if you remember, when he walked on, he's like, even him and himself, they were kind of like surprised. Babe, we just, we just won. Right. And, and the day before, the odds were if you bet $100, you know, you'd have to bet $350 to win $100 on mm -hmm. Hillary, but if you bet $100, I think you win 550 with Trump or some number like that. The underdog won, the greatest underdog of all time of politics, right? Okay. So let's fast forward 20 years from now. Let's mm -hmm. go to 2043. We're doing a podcast, you're 75. Okay. I don't know if you're doing podcasts, but that'd be one hell of a podcast at 75. And maybe we feel a little bit more comfortable coming out at that time because we're traditionalists we're older generation then maybe we're a little bit more careful about what people think about us right now but at 75 we look back and we look at the list of podcasters who are the greatest podcaster of all time joe joe rogan at the top goat who's the greatest this 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 is that and he's like dude but he never interviewed that guy trump i'm gonna be like what are you talking about Wait, let me get this straight. The greatest podcaster of all time never interviewed Trump at a time that he didn't do that? Dude, that's crazy. I don't believe it. Why not? It had to be personal. It had to be this. So to me, I think the guy that's going to interview him in a way that nobody else is going to interview him, you. You're going to ask some questions that you want to know about. Like, you know, hey, what happened with JFK? Are we really going to find out? Can you commit to us? Are you going to come out with the files or no? So I really want to know. Last time you said you did, but you only gave us 80%. Are we going to get the other 20%? Aliens. What the hell is going on with these aliens? Are we going to know or no? Mm -hmm. Can you give us a glimpse? Do you think we should know? I Can don't think I... he'd tell you anything about but, that. But, but what I'm saying... I think that would be a waste of time. Yeah, but what I'm saying is whatever, angles, whatever angles you choose to take, Right. okay? It's your show. You, you get to take whatever angles you want to take. I think it'd be very weird to look back there's going to be no mainstream media 20 years from now. You know that. I know that. To look back and say Joe never interviewed Trump. That's kind of weird. So that's my pitch to you. Good. I like well, weird. You, you like weird? I like things that are weird. I don't know about that. I think, I think you know, uh, I think one. Um, why don't you interview him? Why don't I interview him? I think if I give you my um, assessment on why. Have you ever tried? I, I'll give you my assessment on why I think. Okay. I think if he's him. Okay, you're here, Joe. Everybody else is below you. In this space, not mainstream. In mainstream, he'll do Tucker. He'll do, you know, uh, Megyn Kelly, whatever. I don't know if he's done Megyn Kelly. He hasn't done it yet, but he'll do Tucker. He'll do Brett Bear. He'll do Hannity. He'll do all that stuff. But in this lane we're in, mm. you have to do you first. Then comes everybody else. He can't do that. So I think we come after you come. If I'm his advisor, if I'm his advisor, I would advise him. You can't go to anybody else unless you go to Joe first. And, I, and I'm mm. telling you for like from a perspective of if I'm his counsel, I would say you go to Joe, then you go X, Y, Z. Everybody else is X, Y, Z, Joe. You're Joe. Everyone else is X, Y, Z. Okay. Um, and And... I think he knows that, and I think the person in control right now is not him. It's you. Like, the person in control with Hunter is Hunter's camp, not you. Do you know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. Like, you know, the Hunter, no, Joe, they get to, whoever gets to say no, they're in control. Right. So, but from your perspective, what's going on in America today, I, I would say if you don't do the podcast with him, 
you're helping the establishment and you're helping a guy named Joseph Biden. I think you're helping mm. that person. <laughs> That's kind of weird. Mm. But indirectly in your mind, you're helping yeah, yeah. Joseph Biden win by not interviewing did Trump. You, did you come on this podcast specifically to no. try to get me to interview Trump? No. You brought up Trump multiple times. See, I never brought it up. It seems like you did. You, I, I think you Wow. Did he just put uh, Joe on the spot? <laughs> but yeah, it, I mean, um, it would be really interesting to see or to um, um, hear a podcast or hear um, Joe Reagan interview Trump because I would really love to hear um, from his perspective and from the interview, I would really love to hear um, Donald Trump on this podcast because um, let's be frank, we barely see podcasters like this who have the opportunity or who even get the opportunity to interview Trump. But all the same, I would really, really love to uh, love for Joe Rogan to interview Trump. Yeah, I mean, it, it's going to be an interesting interview and an, an, an interesting episode because um, I'm sure Joe have got a lot of questions to ask him as well as we, the audience, and the, we, are the, we, the viewers, have got lots of questions um, to ask as well. But um, the interview would be like a surface to get those um, answers that we've been waiting to ask but all the same i really love to hear from you what are your thoughts about this do you uh, think joe should go ahead go ahead to interview trump if you are for uh, if you are for um joe Reagan to interview trump leave in the comment section on trump and the american flag by the side so i know you're for trump and if you're for um him not interviewing trump then leave by the side of your comment joe then i know you're not for um trump um, i know that's kind of tricky though but all the same i would really love to hear from you in the comment down below you can also share other useful information you think might be really helpful and until next time see you in the next video